Macam mana calon Imam Mahdi boleh tak solat? Takkanlah Imam Mahdi tak solat. Nanti pengikut-pengikut dia semua tak solat. Assalamualaikum brother Azwan Mazlan. Um the fact that you think Imam Mahdi will be very pious individual and he will be religious that it just says that you haven't done no research on Imam Mahdi. Go to every single lecture on Imam Mahdi. What do the scholars and the ulama say about Imam Mahdi? They say in the beginning portion of his life before he's rectified, they say that he wouldn't be a pious individual. He wouldn't be he would be a Muslim that does the bare minimum. Don't take my word for it. Let's go look at Sunan ibn Majah. What did he say about the night of rectification? It was narrated from Ali that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, Mahdi is one of us, the people of the household. Allah is rectifying him in a single night. Let's go read. What did what did the ulama say? What these are what did he say? Ibn Majah said rectifying him in a single night means that he will repent sincerely. And suddenly I become a righteous person. So that should tell you that Al-Mahdi will not be someone that's righteous. In the beginning portion of his life. Then Allah will rectify him. Allah is going to rectify him overnight. And then the person you're waiting for, that's when he will come out. But in the beginning, he wouldn't come out as such. And another thing, let's continue. Imam Mahdi, hitung dia mancung. Dahi dia luas. Okay? Dia seorang yang seorang yang bengis. Imam Mahdi dia sentiasa tutup kepala dia. Dan Imam Mahdi ni dia akan sentiasa pakai jubah. Macam mana korang boleh percaya? This is the hadith you mentioned. Nowhere it just it talks about how he will look. His looks, masha Allah. We're going to react to how Muhammad Qasim looks like according to what Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said. What you're mentioning about the turban and him wearing the Islamic Traditional clothing and him being a fierce individual. That's what you're picturing in your head, Aki. There's no hadith that talks about stuff that stuff you're mentioning. Subhanallah. This is what Rasulullah said. We will take what Rasulullah said first. Now let's compare what Rasulullah said to Muhammad Qasim. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, The Mahdi will be of my stock and will have a broad forehead and a prominent nose. The Mahdi will have a bald forehead and an aquiline nose. Qasim fits this description perfectly. He is an ordinary looking person with a prominent aquiline nose and a broad forehead due to his balding. I initially believed that the Mahdi would emerge as Prominent nose checks out, broad forehead checks out, subhanAllah. Akhi, my good brother. And also listen to his message. Listen to the message of Muhammad Qasim. He tells us to eradicate shirk in all of his forms. He calls the tawheed in detail. What did the ulama like Sheikh al fawzan say about individuals that call the tawheed in detail? And what did he tell us about these ulamas that call to be good, be good? That's not the call of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. That's not the da'wah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam called the tawheed in detail. And Muhammad Qasim's message is the same message. He calls the tawheed iluhiyah, that which is requested and demanded in all of us, and to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with all acts of worship. So educate yourself on who this individual is. And inshallah, when Allah rectifies him overnight, then he will become who you're waiting for. Till then, he's just a simple man, Very simple. Nothing special about him.